Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am into Roxanne's Day Rambles. Sorry for not uploading basically the past week. I've been stupid busy. Hopefully that'll change soon. <laughs> but anyway, um, we're doing season three. I want to say episode 12 of Legends of Tomorrow. It's called The Curse of the Earth Totem. So we start off in 1717 where pirates are um, burying treasure and Blackbeard has the um, Earth Totem and gives it to um, his, I guess his, I don't know, lady friend. And she gets basically kind of like possessed and then gets wrapped in like vines and gets like buried. And then we cut to where the team is hunting totems. And then Mick is, um, is kind of checking everyone's phones and being a nosy, nosy, nosy person. And um, Sarah wants to take time off and she goes on a date with Ava and it's super awkward and so the rest of the team go to Detroit in 2018 and it turns out Dark uh, took the fire totem and then um, we cut to where Nate knows where and, where and when the earth totem is and it's Blackbeard in 1717. And so then Rip call uh, talks to Wally and uh, China, and then we cut to where um, the team go investigate without Sarah, and you have people basically getting plastered in seventeen seventeen, like super super drunk. And then we have Amaya wants to uh, uh, change the future, and she doesn't really know what to do. She's, she's like flip flopping on what she wants to do. And it's starting to freak out, and then we cut to with Sarah um, and Ava date time, and basically Gideon calls her cell phone, leaves a voicemail, um, and lets her know about the Earth totem, but she still wants to stay on the date. Then we have Mick helps Amaya by talking her up and basically trying to um, like boost up her image and stuff, and trying to make her like a lady pirate queen, and so. Um, then Blackbeard comes in and then he kind of likes her, he kind of um, believes what they're saying about about her. Then we um, cut to where Gideon is messing up and turns out they're actually in the Bermuda Triangle. So big shock there because <laughs> everything seems to malfunction in the Triangle. Then we cut to where they almost get info but then Dark comes in and then uh, does his little and takes Dixon's totem. And then we cut to where Black, Blackbeard literally comes clean and he's like a freaking chicken. <laughs> Just blabs everything. He's like, oh, I'll do you draw you a map. I'll tell you where the treasure is. I'll tell you where everything is. And then, um, then Rip, then we cut to Rip gets drunk with Wally. And then Wally, um, well, Rip asks him to get um, something from Gary. And so he literally pants Gary into the um, bracelet that lets them time travel and also get his jacket from the Bureau. And then we cut to where the team is trying to repair the ship and then it's not really going that great but they're trying to make do what they can. Then we have Blackbeard uh, says the, necl the necklace is cursed and then um, there's some fight scenes that break out. And then the team gets cannonballed by Dark on the Wave Rider because, like, the clicking uh, turned off, and so they're literally shooting the cannonballs right at them. And then we have Amaya versus Britt, and it's like a really great fight scene. I love the single scene that they did in this episode, and she won, which was super cool. And then we go back to Sarah's date, and then she's sees the team crash land in Star City in 2018. Then um, then we cut to where Gary fills in Ava also on the ship, uh, on the date. <laughs> and then we cut to where Rip is doing karaoke with Wally in Tokyo in 1992. And they were actually pretty decent. I didn't mind it. I actually liked it a lot. And then the, the team ship is messed up and they're trying to make repairs and then we cut to uh, 1717 where Blackbeard is still being a chicken and doesn't want to do anything and doesn't want to go after the treasure. He's just kind of be like, mm. 
I'm done. <laughs> and then we cut to where Mick and Amaya take um, his ship along with his crew. Then Whitebeard interjects and turns out he's actually fine with it and asks to join the crew. And then we cut to where Eva talks to the team. Uh, then we cut to where Whitebeard comes clean with Amaya about uh, what happened to his lady friend and he killed her to stop this stuff from happening. And uh, now that but when Dark went to go check on her, or one of his henchmen went to go check on the dead woman, she came alive again, and it's one crazy Google pants on everybody, and she looks like awful. But Blackbeard's like, oh, you look so pretty, liar. And then um, we cut to where Ava and Sarah bicker, then they kiss. Then we have Blackbeard, gets on the Wave Rider, thanks to um, the team using the, um, the bracelet thing to get to the times that they got on. But Blackbeard uh, decided to abandon with about, I think, like six or seven people and try to take her to Wave Rider. And so Eva and uh, so they uh, so Eva and Sarah fight them, and then we cut to where Amaya talks to the girl, and she'll finally get into her, but then Dart took her out, and then we have more fight scenes, and their sequence scene again was really on point this episode. It was really 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 good. Then we cut to where Ray shot Nora with the, like some type of uh, gun thing that's like um, I forgot the name of it. But anyway, it's it was um, it's uh, really affecting her, and so they managed to escape. The Blackbeard leaves the ship. Then Amaya talks to uh, Nate, and then they make out. Then Ava and Sarah talk, and she, uh, Ava wants to join the ship. And then Rip and Wally talk, and then. Ray and Mick talk as well, and he feels bad about Nora. Then he goes back and trades the totem to say Nora almost killed, and Nora almost kills him. But they keep him alive, so they want to use him as bait. Yeah, so that is the end of the episode. Um, I would probably give this episode a, I'll give it an A plus because it was a fun episode, and I like how like um, each one was in different groups. Like Sarah was on her date, then he had. Uh, half the team went to the Bermuda with, um, with Mick and Amaya, and then you had the rest of the team on the ship trying to repair it. So I liked how they were all interjecting and having all those little um, mid storylines and episodes. I actually kind of enjoyed that. I thought that was kind of refreshing because usually it's all of them doing the same thing. So it was nice that they kind of split it up and they're all doing their, kind of their own thing. So while Sarah was on the day. I know you also have Rip and Wally in China talking as well. So it was like four different um, little segments going on, which I actually thoroughly enjoyed. The fight sequence was really good as well. I really did appreciate those. And there was a bunch of funny moments, which I also appreciate it as well. So overall, I really, really liked this episode. And like I said, I give it a plus. It was really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I cannot wait for next week because I think it'll be really fun as well. So anyway, um, I've, that's one of this episode because I'm super tired. And uh, just leave um, a like, comment down below and tell me what you think of the episode. And also leave suggestions. I'm rolling out a lot of different stuff this week, I hope. I just got to edit the stuff. I recorded this like a week ago. Not this episode, but other videos. So you guys just haven't done anything yet. Anyway, um, I got to edit and stop with and stuff. This is always a one take, and it's going up. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next video. Bye, everybody.